this yesterday, we don't have to travel back very far. June 11th, 1990. Nolan Ryan adds another jewel to his crown as the greatest no-hit pitcher of all time. Nolan Ryan, the 2-0 pitch. was indeed a banner year for Ryan. In addition to becoming the oldest man to throw a no-hitter, July 31st in Milwaukee, the part-time rancher, part-time banker, and all-time great pitcher became just the 20th player in Major League history to win 300 games. Ryan's son, Reese, provided a little play-by-play -play from the dugout. One ball, two strikes. Man on first, top of the fifth. And stretch the pitch. Oh, blew that one right by him. That's Nolan 6K for the night. Oh, no, he's doing pretty well. You think he has his best stuff? He's looking all right. There he is. The eyes of Texas were upon him. The ageless wonder kept blowing away the brew crew. Then, in the eighth, with a two-run lead, Nolan handed the game over to reliever Brad Arnsberg to watch the final outs from the dugout with his sons by his side. Arnsberg's pitch, fly ball, center field, this should do it. Pettis makes the catch, and Nolan Ryan and the Rangers are victorious. Nolan Ryan, his 300th career victory, and you can charge up the bus for Cooperstown. Nolan Ryan officially has had his ticket validated. On May 1st of this year, no-hit Ryan continued to rewrite baseball history. It happened against Toronto. Yogi and Dale. These some of the cards that came out a while back. And the Boons, Ray and Bob. What a thrill to have father and son be major leaguers. We honor some of them on Father's Day. It is a dilemma that every dad and mom, of course, faces. Uh, I have a newborn son. What are we going to name him? Now, sometimes the name comes from an inspirational man, which uh, means in baseball, there are few greater inspirational folks than one Nolan Ryan. It really is quite a tribute, but then again, Nolan Ryan is quite a man. Chris Myers thought this was more than an appropriate story for today, Father's Day. Lynn Nolan Ryan Jr.'s name reads like any other in the baseball encyclopedia. But for what he's done in his 24 years in the game, his name stands out well beyond most. in Major League Baseball history to win 300 games. And for the men who've had the chance to know the man, the name Nolan Ryan has come to mean much more. I think of, of everything he's accomplished on the field and as great as that has, has been, I think uh, Nolan Ryan is even a greater person and a better person, even, even more than what he's accomplished on the field. You know, you hear all the good things about him, but uh, and sometimes, you know, people get disappointed by some athletes, but Nolan is, is one that he, he is for real. The tremendous impact and feelings are partly unique for Ryan. His small-town family values have made him not just the ultimate role model in baseball, but an American folk hero. So in their admiration for him, some baseball dads have bestowed their sons with the honor of wearing his name, something this father understands in his own life. Well, I think any time somebody does something like that and they actually tell you that's the reason that they, they did it was uh, you have to feel honored. Uh, you know, I named... Uh, my youngest son after Jimmy Reese because uh, I have a lot of respect for Jimmy and he's a very close friend of mine. He just became a big influence in my career and in my uh, playing time here with the Rangers and um, therefore, uh, just because it's such an honor to play with Nolan as a tribute to him, we named uh, one of the twins after Nolan. Growing up and, and having him as an idol too and then having him as a teammate later on, he just showed a lot of respect on and off the field. And, 
uh, it's just something that it'll, it'll be nice for him to carry on through his uh, lifetime too. So. The children are still too young to truly understand how special the link between themselves and one of the great pitchers in the game's history really is all about. Though you can't expect them to live up to the standards, no one has set for the name Ryan on the field. As a person, he's the epitome of what a parent would want a child to be. I don't want um, him to feel the pressure of thinking, God, I gotta be like Nolan Ryan. Later on in life, like I said before, maybe he can look back and say, he didn't name me after Nolan Ryan the pitcher, but he named me after Nolan Ryan the person. Right after they were born, um, he kept asking me if we had a rocking chair for him, and every time he would ask, he would say, you know, and you can't just get one rocking chair for the, you got to have two, you know, one for each one of them. And so I kept, kept telling him, no, I don't have one, Owen, you know, and uh, so sure enough, about a week later, there was two rocking chairs delivered to our house, and uh, that was no one's gift to him. So I thought that was really special. Now, I know Nolan Ryan wasn't involved with your son, but uh, yet baseball was involved with his name, right? Uh, 